that you know all you need in order to get paid to pre prepare tax returns is with what's called the PTIN, there are three additional professional licenses you can obtain in order to help not only market your business and get paid more per return, but also offer representation services. These representation services come in hand during the off season. So we know that you know, normally you're filing tax returns from February to April. You know, what do you do the rest of the year? What I do is representation services. This includes settling back taxes and or audit representation. With a professional license, that's what you would be able to do. Not only can you offer these services, these services are very valuable and you can charge a lot of money for these. Now we know that all you need in order to get paid to prepare a tax return is what the IRS calls a PTIN. There are three additional licenses that I recommend at least you get one in order to help your tax business succeed in the long run and generate more income. These three licenses are the IRS enrolled agent, the CPA or certified public accountant, and becoming an attorney. Now the easiest of the three is the IRS enrolled agent. Typically this takes anywhere from six to 12 months and you do not need to have a bachelor's degree in order to become an IRS enrolled agent. You really just have to pass the three exams that the IRS has in order to become an enrolled agent. I'm going to include a link on the IRS's website on how to become an enrolled agent and the steps you need to take. But my recommendation is the first step you need to take is to sign up for a self-study course and start studying for it. The faster you study, the faster you can go take those exams and pass those. There are three different study courses that I do recommend. And the first is called Sturgent. The next I have is Fast Forward Academy, which is the one I personally use to help me pass the enrolled agent exams. And the last is Gleam. These are all have very good reviews and I would recommend any of those three for you to take in order to become an enrolled agent. Now the next is the, the CPA or the Certified Public Accountant. With the CPA, you will be able to offer your services for a higher fee and it's just gonna help out with marketing your tax business because you know a lot of people know what a CPA is and they, they highly value that term and that license. So you know, being a CPA is gonna help you with marketing your firm and, and being able to charge more. And along with like the enrolled agent or the attorney, you will be able to offer representation services in the off season. So after you prepare taxes for the current year, you know you can get clients that haven't filed in several years or owe some back taxes and help represent them before the IRS or state in getting in compliance and settling those back taxes. Now the CPA is, is a little more, bit more difficult than the enrolled agent in that you have to have your bachelor's degree. And in California, I can say that you have to have 150 units with your bachelor's degree. So that's five years um, of undergraduate courses you have to take. Now this varies on state to state as the CPA is, is issued to you from the state and not the IRS. So each state has their own rules on what you need to do in order to become a CPA. Now since I'm in the process of becoming a CPA here in California, I'm a li little bit more familiar with the rules. Here again we have uh, the 150 unit requirement, which is five years of a bachelor's degree. You then have to sit for the four exams, which at minimum is gonna take you a year. And then you also need to work for one year underneath a CPA. So you're looking at a minimum of seven years in order to become a CPA. But again, this can really help with the success of generating income for you and marketing your business. The last of the three is becoming an attorney. Again, this is just gonna be a better angle on how to market your business. You know, if you have an attorney preparing taxes, you know, that, that's probably the best of the three. And you will be able to represent clients, obviously, before the IRS and before the State Revenue Agency. But this might be the hardest of the three to get as you will need to, to graduate with a bachelor's, which is at least four years. And then you're gonna have to go to law school, which is an additional three years. So we're looking at seven years. Plus you gotta pass the bar, which can take another year. So you're looking at seven, eight years minimum in order to become an attorney. Now again, you do not need any of these three licenses to prepare or start your tax business. Really all you need is that P10 to start your tax business. But if you want, to generate more income for yourself and your business, help with the marketing of that. Becoming an enrolled agent, CPA, or an attorney is gonna help with that.